The best place to network? LinkedIn. The best way to network? Build trust and connection. The fastest way to do that? Going live on the platform. If you're looking to live stream to LinkedIn, you found the right video because I'm going to show you exactly how to do this step by step. Let's dive in. So you can't actually go live using LinkedIn. You'll need to focus on a third party platform approved by LinkedIn to go live on your profile or page. In this video, we're going to focus on how to go live on LinkedIn in full HD using a platform called Riverside. Riverside is an online live streaming and recording software that will allow you to go live on LinkedIn and a ton of other destinations at the same time. You'll also get a full recording of your stream available to download or edit on the platform in up to 4K. So sign up for a Riverside account. I will link it in the description. The free account is a great way to get started, but if you want to be able to stream in full HD, you'll wanna to upgrade to the standard or pro plan with the live stream add-on to be able to stream in 1080p. With the free plan, you can stream in 720p. Log into your new account. This is what it will look like. And you wanna create a new studio. So head to this plus button and name your studio. I'll call this live streaming. Make sure you select the language that you will be streaming in. And if you wanna schedule this for a later date, you can do that here as well. If you wanna invite somebody to join the live stream with you, head to plan recording invite to record. You can send them this link or you can email them directly. You can have up to eight people join you as guests on the stream. Head into the studio. On this page, you can select any equipment that you'd like to use throughout your live stream. So from the drop down menu here, you can select your microphone and you can select your camera. You can even seamlessly connect your mobile camera as an external webcam for your computer. Setup is quick and easy. You would simply scan this QR code with your phone and your phone will be set up as an external webcam for your computer. If you have any trouble setting that up, I'll link a video above for you that will help you out. Now, if you're wondering what equipment to use for live streaming, I'll link a video above for you that's going to walk you through the best streaming setup. If you have others joining you virtually during your stream, you will wanna wear headphones. So you can select these here from this drop down menu and select whether you are or are not using headphones right here. When you're ready, join the studio. This is your new live streaming studio. On the side here, you can monitor your audio levels. Here again, you can invite any guests to record with you. You can also invite a producer. A producer will be able to monitor the live stream and work the back end of things like adding text to the screen and adding additional media, which we'll go over shortly. This way you can just focus on presenting. If you're not inviting anybody, you can exit out of that. Now, when you're looking for a live streaming software, it's important to find a software that will allow you to stream in 720p or 1080p. This is gonna let you find a balance between video quality and internet speed. It's also beneficial to find a platform that will record your live stream as well so that you can repurpose it afterwards into things like social media clips or even post the full live stream to places like YouTube and LinkedIn. With every live stream on Riverside, you will get a recording of your live stream up to 4K, depending on what kind of camera you use to record, that you can edit and repurpose afterwards directly on the platform. We'll go through that shortly. In the live streaming menu at the top here, select settings. You'll see here you can choose between 720 and 1080p. You'll also see that you can choose your live streaming destinations. You can actually connect to all of these simultaneously, so you can go live across the internet. This is going to help you reach more people. Let's set up LinkedIn. When you select LinkedIn, you can either connect a LinkedIn profile or a LinkedIn page. So select whichever one you'd like to go live to. Then you're gonna log into your LinkedIn account. You'll have to allow Riverside to connect to your LinkedIn account. I've already set this up once, so I don't see those permissions anymore, but you will see those. Just select allow, and then you'll come to this page. Select the profile that you'd like to go live to, and now your LinkedIn account is connected. It's seriously that easy. So here you can add your title and description of your live stream, and this will be copied over to your LinkedIn account. You can also brand your studio with this brand button on the side here. All of this branding will be reflected in your live stream on whatever platforms you're streaming to. When you're ready, select go live. The platform will count down, and as soon as it starts, you will go live on whatever platform that Riverside is connected to, and the live recording will start as well. If you head up to the live streaming drop down menu, you'll be able to see how many people are viewing your live stream on any given platform, and you can preview what it looks like for your audience. As you can see here, I have gone live on LinkedIn. Now, back over on the Riverside platform, you can actually add text to your screen for things like calls to action or emphasizing certain points. You just head to this text button, and you can show any text that you'd like on the screen. Now, let's talk about engagement. Head over to this chat button, 
And you'll see you have your studio chat where you can chat with anyone who is involved in the live stream, so producers and guests, and you'll have this live stream chat. This is going to show you all of the reactions and chats from every platform that Riverside is connected to all in one place. This way you're not switching tabs and you can engage in real time. Now there are a couple other things you can do. Down here at the bottom you can share your screen or a presentation. You can also add media throughout your stream like countdowns or even an introduction. When you're done your live stream, select stop. This will stop your live stream on any platform that Riverside is connected to and it will stop the recording of the live stream as well. You'll see that the recording of the live stream is now uploading to the cloud. This means that this recording is not going to take up any space on your computer. It all lives in the cloud and it will all be accessible on the Riverside platform. Back here on LinkedIn, you'll see that your live stream has automatically posted to your LinkedIn timeline. You'll also see that the title and the description that you created on Riverside has transferred over as well. Once it's been uploaded, select view recordings. On this page, you'll see that your live stream has actually been transcribed. And if you scroll down, you'll see that you're able to download every participant of the live stream's tracks individually, as well as any screen shares, media files, and presentations. If you head up to this edit button, go into the editor, and here you can remove any parts of your live stream simply by highlighting over the part that you'd like deleted and pressing delete you'll see that this was deleted from the final video. This is reflected in the timeline here. You can also use these AI producer features to do things like remove silences, remove filler words, and enhance your audio with AI. You can change that branding that you did create in the studio if you'd like to. You can change the layout of your video. You can add dynamic captions to help with audience engagement and accessibility. You can even add text to your video to emphasize certain points add stock images or your own images. And if you head to this little plus button, you can even add things like past recordings. So maybe you recorded an ad in the past and you want to insert that into the middle of your live stream, you can do that. Or you could also add an introduction or an outro. Then up here, you can export your recording in up to 4K, depending on what kind of camera you used to record. You'll see your full video exporting here. Once it's exported, you will get a notification. And on this page, you can preview and as soon as it starts, you will go live and download your recorded and edited live stream. Now back on the previous page, you will see this magic clips feature. This works for recordings that are over five minutes long. That's why we don't see the option available to me right now, just because this was a quick example live stream. But if your live stream is longer than five minutes, you will have a button here that says generate clips. This will scan the recording and pick the most informative and engaging parts and cut it into clips for social media. You can edit them using all of the tools in the editor and download them for posting. By default, these will be in a nine to 16 ratio, but if you are posting them to LinkedIn, I recommend doing a one to one ratio. You can change the aspect ratio right in the editor at the top here. LinkedIn is all about impressing your network. So if I were you, I would head back to your LinkedIn profile, delete the auto posted live stream, and then upload your high quality edited stream that you just downloaded from Riverside and create an engagement driving description with valuable information. Here's how to do this really easily. Head back to your dashboard, scroll down, copy your transcript. Then you're gonna to head to ChatGPT and you're going to write this prompt. Turn this into an engagement driving, value packed title and description for a LinkedIn video. And then paste your transcript. Then you can use that response, edit it to fit your style and use it as your video title and description. It's all about working smarter, not harder. You can also post this to YouTube. Share out those magic clips you created to your LinkedIn to drive engagement to the full length video and provide valuable information to your network. So you came here to figure out how to live stream on LinkedIn in full HD, and now you know the easiest way to do it using a web-based live streaming platform with recording and editing capabilities. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about live streaming and high quality content creation in general, subscribe to our channel. We post a bunch of videos every week to help you make content that works harder for you. If you wanna learn more about the Riverside Editor, I will leave a video here to help you out. Thanks again for watching. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll catch you later.